Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I wanted to kind of bring up an interesting topic to me. Um, it's something I've talked about a little bit, but I feel like I could go like a lot more in depth on the topic. And that is basically someone commented a little while back on one of the videos, like in particular, it was a video where I was talking about the TV show Dark Matter, how I didn't know it was actually based on a comic book. And they had talked about the fact is that it's like, oh, don't you realize how many TV shows and movies are based on comic books and kind of listed a few examples and stuff like that, which now I'm kind of more aware. Granted, there's still a lot of stuff I didn't probably didn't realize was based on comic book stuff, but nevertheless. And to me, I think that's kind of an interesting, you know, uh, topic of discussion, at least on my part, because I growing up had this huge misconception that, you know, comic book stuff was only superhero stuff because obviously like the two biggest heavy hitters when it comes to comic books not saying like they're the only big ones but when you think comic books you think dc and you think marvel which are mainly superhero things so for me it's like everything that's based on a comic book is something superhero related like you know your, your batmans your supermans your spider-man so on and so forth it wasn't until probably more recently um that i kind of really realized just how much stuff is you know, based on comic books, you know, whether it be movies or TV shows. Some great examples, for example, like the movie Wanted, the one in 2008 that had uh, James McAvoy, uh, Angelina Jolie, uh, Morgan Freeman in it. The whole like, oh, Curving Bullets movie. That's based on a comic book. I had no idea. I mean, granted, it is very loosely based on a comic book because basically the comic book is basically about a world full of supervillains. It's kind of like you kind of get a supervillain's perspective i don't know if like there's no heroes in the world i'm not that familiar with the comic book but the comic book story is nothing like what the movie is it's very loosely based it just uses the same name and i guess the concept of like the secret organization rather than it being just an assassin's group in the movie it's like i said a group of super villains that you follow another great example and it's something i might have talked about recently because of the whole like oh discussion of like reboots for the crow movie i think it might have come up in that but if not uh the crow is a great example it wasn't until like probably high school that i found out that that movie was based on a comic book and growing up that was like one of my favorite movies and i had no idea because now i think it's because when, i never really look things up before but now i'm like you know because i review tv shows and stuff like that and because i'm very weird about putting things in the correct category and just and just like how i categorize the stuff that i review i think i'm more aware of it and i'll make more of a point to go like oh yeah i'll ch like check and see if this is this whether this is based on a comic book or not because for a lot of stuff i feel like i just happen to like you know because either it'll pop up in the opening credits or it'll pop up at the end credits and i just might have missed it every time like a great example is van helsing that's another tv show i was like oh this is actually based on a comic book because that said in the credits and it said pretty fast so i think every time it ever came up during season one I just kind of missed it. I mean, that's the only reason why I know that Winona Earp was based on a comic book slash graphic novel because I was like, oh yeah, I just happened to catch a glimpse of it like in open credits, like when season one premiered. And I was like, oh, so I guess I put this as not to comic book. Like, that's a whole thing. And I'm glad it's a misconception that I did kind of get rid of because now I realize like, oh man, like comic books range all over the place when it comes to the storylines. And of course they would, but like I said, it's just because I had that misconception of like, oh yeah, everything being superhero related just because of DC and Marvel. I didn't know about there being, you know, Image Comics or Dark Horse or Vertigo, which Vertigo falls under DC. But I, I, I mean, I could be under the uh, wrong impression, but I feel like Vertigo doesn't handle as much superhero stuff because I know like I Zombie is was published by Vertigo Comics. So was Preacher, Lucifer, Sandman. Like I was saying, it's an under, I think it's an understandable misconception since like even like even amongst the TV shows that you know I kind of reference and stuff like that that most of them, even like the comic book related stuff I watch tend to be more superhero related stuff just because that's kind of like, I think the biggest franchise amongst comic books are typically superhero stuff simply because they're always the ones getting rebooted whereas other comic book stores tend to be just like, this is just one complete story and then we're done. My question to you guys is, is this a misconception that you've ever had before or, you know, currently still struggling with the kind of separating your head of like, no, 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 comic books aren't just superhero things. I'd really love to get your perspective on it, especially like whether you are someone who's kind of grown up knowing comic books a lot or whether you're kind of like me and don't really know comic books that much. Because I feel like even if you know comic books well enough, you probably only read certain comic books, so your world view might 
might just be superhero stuff too. So you might be like, wait, there's other stuff out there like your your preachers, your uh, chilling adventures of uh, Sabrina, your eye zombies, etc. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm very interested to kind of hear other people's thoughts on the subject. Really, that's all I wanted to talk about. To the next one with me, be happy, be safe, look like to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and good night.